All right, guys, so the wait is finally over. We officially have the Extreme Z Awakening details for the Tech Vegito Blue and the STR Rosé, two of my most highly anticipated Extreme Z Awakenings um, probably of all time. So in today's video, we're gonna be breaking them down to find out exactly how good these guys are now with their EZAs. And usually I like to wait for the video to read the details for myself just to, I guess, react in real time, but I couldn't wait this time, man. I was too excited, so I know what they do, and they are really freaking good. Now, I have seen some mixed opinions out there, but I think people who are disappointed are a little bit crazy. Now, they are good in different ways. Like, one is much better in short to medium length events, whereas the other one is obviously a long event stacker. Uh, if you guys know what they do before the EZAs, then you can probably guess which one I'm talking about for each, but they're both amazing to me. So without further ado, let's jump right into it, pop it over to the Dokkan Wiki here, starting with my boy Vegito Blue. Before the EZA, his leader skill was super types, uh, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 120% when your team includes all five super types. Super attack raises attack and defense and causes immense damage. And passive is a great chance to launch two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance to become a super attack. That's 30%. Attack plus 15% with each attack performed up to 150%. Now, obviously the main thing that was missing from this guy was defense. He did stack defense on his uh, super attack, but his base defense was so low um, that it took him forever to get to any reasonable level of defense, you know? So um, he was really, really bad offensively. Offensively, he hit really hard even without the EZA. Obviously, with the EZA now, this dude, I mean, he's gotta be up there in like the top five top 10 at worst of hardest hitting units in the game. I haven't seen any like updated calculations for that, but um, he should definitely be up there. So with that said, dump it over to the Extreme Z Awakening. Leader skill now will be super types. Key plus four, HP attack and defense plus 140% when team includes all five super types. Super attack raises attack and defense, disables enemies guard, and causes immense damage. Passive defense plus 150% off to a really good start, plus an additional defense plus 50% when attacking, that's also great. Launches two additional attacks, each of which has a medium chance of becoming a super attack. And then attack plus 20% with each attack performed up to 200%. Key plus three and medium chance of performing a critical hit within the same turn after receiving an attack. So main difference here is getting a lot of defense. I mean, a lot more defense than before because he was not getting defense before. He's still stacking attack and defense, which is great. He's getting up to 200% attack now. And then he's also getting that medium chance of critting when taking a hit in the turn. So like I said, man, his offensive potential has been increased by a lot, but his defensive potential is actually the one that got the even bigger boost I feel like, because he had no defense before, that's a problem, like he just could not take hits. Now, I'm seeing some calculations out there where after the super attack, he's getting, you know, like after a couple of supers, he's getting over 300,000 defense. Uh, actually with the additional 50%, it should be over 400,000, so he's not going to be like the best defensive unit out there, but he's going to be a very, very respectable defender, and in longer events, he should hold up just fine. And uh, like I said before, you know, one of them is better for short to medium events. One of them is better for long events. Vegito Blue is going to be very disappointing if you just look at his first super. Okay, his initial super is going to be like 1.5 to 2 mil, depending on your supports and all that stuff, right? Which is obviously bad. But he stacks up very quickly. After three supers, after five supers, you're getting into the 5 to 6 million range. After seven supers, you're looking at like seven million plus per super, and he's getting up to three to four supers 
uh, every turn, right? So, like I said, he definitely has to be one of the hardest hitting units in the game right now. Um, I haven't seen the list, updated list. I don't think anyone's made it yet because it's so early, but he's got to be in the top 10. Maybe even top 5. Who knows? But he's a monster. And I am not disappointed by any means. Um, taking a look at the stats now with the Extremes the Awakening, this guy is going to be getting. Uh, oh, there's no updated stats. What's up with that? Well, that's a little disappointing. Um, so yeah, they didn't update it here, but what I can tell you is that they get a big boost. <laughs> I've seen it somewhere else before. I believe he gets like close to, if not over 20,000 attack. Um, you know, like close to 20,000 HP, and then defense is like 11,000 or so, somewhere in that range. I apologize for not having the actual numbers, guys. That's my bad. But, um, yeah, he gets a big boost in stats, as you would expect. So that is the Tech Vegito Blue. Let's jump over to the STR Rosé now. So before the Extremes the Awakening, Leader Skill, Extreme Types, K plus 3, HP, Attack, and Defense plus 120% when his team has all 5 Extreme Types. Uh, super Attack causes immense damage, and then Extreme Class Allies attack plus 30% for one turn. Passive attack plus 120%, extreme class allies keep plus 3, and defense plus 50%, and extreme, or sorry, super class enemies attack and defense minus 20%. Uh, once again, not a lot of defense or any defense really except for the 50%, which is nice for support, but um, it's not really enough, right? So with the extremes, the awakening now, leader skill, extreme types keep plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 140% when team includes all 5 extreme types. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. And extreme class uh, allies attack plus 30% for one turn. Then passive is attack and defense plus 150%. Extreme class allies e plus 3, defense plus 50%. Realm of Gods, extreme class allies attack plus 50%. And then super class enemies attack and defense minus 30% plus an additional attack and defense plus 50% and attacks effective attacks effective against all types for the rest of battle after delivering a final blow. Now this makes a huge difference. Huge difference. You want to make sure that early in the fight, like let's say um, on Super Battle Road or on uh, legendary Goku, or whatever the event is, right? Early in the fight, you want to make sure this guy gets a final blow, as in he kills an enemy, because after he does that, his attack potential, his defense, and his overall damage uh, gets a massive boost, right? Because attacks effective against all types is is amazing, and then you get the additional attack and defense plus 50%. Um, so you want to make sure you get that as quickly or as soon as possible in the event, because he goes from like a max output of like five ish million attack to like seven eight mil after the final blow with the attacks effective against all types with the amazing support too um yeah very very good very good so that's why i say like this rosé i feel like it's better for short to medium events compared to the vegeto blue not to say he can't handle himself on long events he definitely can but the Vegito Blue will outshine him in the longer events because of the stacking, right? Because he's infinitely stacking attack and defense. But this guy, I mean, very early on, will be putting out massive damage numbers. Um, so, yeah, they're both good in their own ways, but they can handle basically all the events in the game. Um, and those are the Extreme Sea Awakenings, guys. That's the Rosé. That's the Vegito Blue. Like I said, two of my most highly anticipated Extremes the Awakenings ever and honestly I'm really happy with it man I I'm really happy with both I, I can't really see where the where the complaints are coming from like some people are like yo like they're not you know the best units in the game now you know like they, they should be n number one and two of like best TURs after easy they're not they're not gonna do that right like they, they still want to reserve the best of the best for like new summonable TURs and even if they're not number one and two they're up there they're up there among the best TURs in the game now so I am okay with how they turned out 
Uh, let me know your opinions in the comments. But uh, I think they're amazing. I really do. So that is the video, guys. That is your breakdown. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you guys are uh, as excited for these guys as I am. And I mean... That's it. That's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And the music stopped. Okay, one sec. Let me just find something new to uh, lead us out here. That's good. Okay. Um, what was I saying again? Like the damn video, sub to the channel, hit that notification bell, and until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.